I know you lying. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog and the first episode of Vlogmas. I can't believe that it's almost Christmas. Like, where did time go? Where did 2023 go? I... Noelle, get down. Why is my child in the pantry climbing up the shelves to fill up her lunchbox with cans of soup, breakfast biscuits, like... Please. It is Sunday evening. It's about, what time is it? 5.36? Girl, I don't know. Where's my phone? I don't even know. It's 5.22 and y'all, I haven't done really anything today. I don't have motivation to do anything today. I just want to lay around and chill, which I feel like is okay. But now it's time to get up and at least get something done because it's not too late to get at least something done. I have a lot to do. This always happens right before a trip, but I feel like I have so much to do that I don't even know where to start. I was supposed to go to CVS today. It's not too late, but I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I just need to get like some toiletries and stuff for our trip that we are taking on Wednesday. We're gonna go on a family vacation to Disney. I don't know what's up with me in this. It is? Good job, did you press the ones? Good job! No, I'm actually excited because she's trying to learn how to open her little diary that has a passcode keypad or whatever. And the code is very simple. I've been trying to teach her how to put in the passcode. And she just did it for the first time on her own. But yeah, so we're going on a family vacation Wednesday for Thanksgiving. Good job, baby. I know you lying. Where's the power? <laughs> Ain't no way. Y'all, the power just went out. I was about to make me a coffee. <laughs> oh no, okay. I don't know what that was about. The power just flickered off for like, three minutes and came back on. So we're back, but I feel like that was a sign for me to go ahead, stop being lazy and get some shit done. The house in front of me is an absolute mess. I have packages open on the couch. Noelle has her toys everywhere. I have packages in front of me that I just got from the doorstep that I need to open. First things first, girl, let's make a pick me up and I'm gonna use my super cute little gingerbread man mug that I just got from Target yesterday. I'm making coffee. I wanna make you coffee. Just press the button because I already put the pot in there. good I made the hot version of the sugar cookie latte that I made on TikTok the other day added a little bit of caramel y'all can't tell me that this is not the cutest little festive mug ever I got it from Target yesterday for only like five dollars five dollars telling y'all that's the most simple way to make the perfect festive coffee holiday flavored coffee or latte I store hot it tastes so good hot coffee yeah. it's hot y'all can't tell me this isn't the cutest little festive christmas -y mug ever i got it from target the other day yesterday for like five dollars i'll smell it um i was trying to keep her out of the camera because <laughs> it's so hot yes it is it's hot. yes it is no, it's not. she looks crazy why are you breathing in my coffee like that Stop. 
I really was trying to keep her out of the camera because I know she looking a little, a little crazy. So the band-aid on her forehead, she, I think she got bit by a bug because she had this bump and it was red and it looked just like a mosquito bite. It looked like a mosquito bite. Yeah, baby. And she said it was itching and then the next day she woke up, it was massive, like a knot. I almost thought she hurt herself or something but I was touching it and when I was touching it, she wasn't really flinching. And if it was a knot from like bumping her head, then it would have been hurting. Not gonna lie, I was Googling and scaring myself. Key said it looked like it could probably be like a biter, a biter, a spider bite or another type of bug bite that just had a bad reaction and swole. So I was like, okay, I'ma wait and see how it looks tomorrow morning. I wanted to take her to urgent care last night but it went down significantly this morning, but it's itching. So she requested a Band-Aid on it. So I put a, ra a rainbow Band-Aid on her forehead and her hair. <laughs> okay, the hair. My girl is just thriving in her natural state, okay? She is rocking the baby fro. Today was wash day. I took her beads down, my mom and I, this morning and my mom washed her hair in the sink. Like I used to get my hair washed when I was little. So she's got the curls for the girls right now and it looks a little wonky, I know. Her hair is still like, she has a mix of baby hair and I feel like what she hold me to her, my finger. I don't know what to call it, but you know how kids have baby hair? And the older they get, the more it you know changes texture and the curl pattern changes and everything. Yeah, she has baby hair still around the edges. Her edges are still really thin and fine and just kind of straight and super soft. And then like toward the middle of her head is getting really thick and curly and her curls are super tight. So yeah, the way it dries out is just a little wonky right now until her hair grows in some more. I asked her if I could do her hair and put it in a ponytail or two, but she said no. And you gotta choose your battles and her hair is not one. Though it is what it is, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But time to start the vacay prep. I don't wanna procrastinate and do everything super last minute. If I don't pack by Tuesday morning, I at least wanna have an idea of what I'm gonna pack because I don't wanna be scrambling Tuesday night. I also have to do her hair Tuesday night. I got some things in from Aritzia over the past couple days. My package is shipped in like two or three separate packages. And one of them includes my outfit for Disney Day. We're going to Epcot this year. So every year or every other year since I was about six or seven, my parents took me to Disney up until I was a teenager, like 14. No, last time I went to Disney, I was like 70. Anyway, we have a timeshare with Westgate. So we're going to Orlando, that is where we're staying. So when we go to Epcot, I'm gonna wear this Aritzia bound t-shirt in white with this micro tennis skirt that's also in white. I already tried this on, I didn't try the shirt on, but I already tried the skirt on and y'all, perfect is an understatement. This skirt is so cute. The length is perfect and I love that it comes with built-in compression shorts and girl they really are compressed really will compress you super cute love the elastic waistband love the little loco logo detail that's on the back she was a bit pricey like 70 dollars but i feel like it was well worth the money sometimes you just have to pay a little bit more for better quality and the look that you're going for because i've ordered a couple of these off amazon and baby amazon could never and maybe it's just my shape my height how long my legs are, I don't know. But the Amazon skirts were just not given how this one is giving. This one is perfect. And it's a size extra small. I ordered two boyfriend TNA half zips. I think they're it's called boyfriend burn half zips. Mommy. My coffee's gonna burn you to them. Or cozy fleece. Just That's ordered a black fun. one and an extra small that I'll actually probably bring with me to wear with this black jumpsuit I got from. Amazon and I bought this gray one to throw on over the all white outfit. I think with that I'm gonna wear some navy blue Sakai's. So yeah, I'm gonna wear the gray one. And I ordered the Mega Cargo Felice pants. I love these. I already have them in green and I recently got a white pair. Well, not really recently, but when I went to the Aritzia in Atlanta. So, little backstory. I bought a white pair and a black pair but somehow the black pair 
just went missing. They're missing. The tag didn't come off, didn't wear them. Y'all, I didn't even get to hang them up. They're, they're just missing. I don't know what happened from the transit from ATL to Atlanta. I meant from ATL to Raleigh, but babes, they're gone. So I had to order me a new pair. I need to look and see if they have them in a tall though, because they're a little shorter in length than I remember. And I'm kind of on like the average height to tall side. I'm 5'7". I have long legs, so they're borderline high water. It ain't bad, but if they sell them in a tall, I prefer a tall. I ordered this thing, y'all. It's it's like a device that you'll use to help unbuckle a car seat for when you have long nails or maybe like arthritis or finger problems, whatever the case may be. This is just a cool little device that'll help you open the car seat easily if I can even get the bag open. I just got my nails done and they're not long. I actually got short almond, but still, I didn't know if I would need this for her new stroller. We got a new stroller recently and you have to press a button to release. And I low key struggle pressing that button without nails. So I was like, let me be on the safe side and get this. Cause I would hate to be pushing that thing around Disney or in the airport and not be able to push that button. Even though I have more than enough hands to help in case that does happen. Still, that's just like a cool little gadget to have. What is this? Is this even mine? I didn't wear this. I'm assuming that this is probably the bodysuit and her outfits. I forgot that I ordered her outfit. And I think I ordered two by accident. Yup. I'm gonna have to send one of these bags. It's literally the exact same thing. When I went to look at the tracking info, I noticed that I ordered two of them. So Thanksgiving day, we're gonna be at Universal Studios and we have dinner reservations at Universal. And I bought her this cute little Thanksgiving fit to wear. It says Mama's Pumpkin in this cute burnt orange rustish it. color. No, not right now. It's not for right now. Comes with these pants. This is so, so cute. And then we have my jumpsuit. I ordered this black one piece romper with a square neck. You can't really see, but the detail of the sleeves were a little different. So it's just like a black romper with a little spice. It had a cute little neckline and sleeve detail going on. Okay, bye. I want this jerseys to for the search. Okay, bye. I should, I want some coffee guys. Coffee, okay, I'm on coffee. She's on 10. Okay, so. Here's the jumpsuits. Now I got a size small and baby, she will really snatch you up because this thing is tight. This is so cute and like flirty. It has like this double lining action going on in here, but it's not actually padded. Like it's not actually a built-in bra. It's just double lined in that area. I actually really like this. Do you do your workout? I'm done. You done, that's it? I just want y'all to see the state of this living room. Girl, we're missing a dining table. We're about to get a new one. We're gonna get like a wooden, black, modern dining table. Um, I actually would like something. Okay. I didn't have dinner, but Noelle did. Okay, what do you want? Um, a supreme meal with honey mustard and barbecue sauce. I just pulled up to CVS and hopefully they're open because the parking lot is bare. Okay, it's bare. And the pharmacy closes at 6, but it doesn't say the store hours on the door. So I don't know, I'm gonna just have to go up to the door and see. But I dropped Noel off with my aunt and my little cousins and my uncle while I run this errand. Y'all, she was driving me up a wall, like... There was no way I was bringing her in this store. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's why I'm so grateful, very grateful to live within 15 minutes from a whole lot of my family because girl, girl, it really takes a village to raise my child. I get so easily overwhelmed. I haven't mastered patience yet and I very easily get sensory overload. I just, I be needing those breaks, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, a couple days. I'm just, I'm so grateful to have family, a village, and like a very big support system. I don't even be needing to ask for help sometimes. Like my cousin just called me and Noelle said she wanted to see her and she was like, okay, bring her over. Not even knowing that 
I had something to do. I have a list and of course when people find out you're going to the store they add to your list right so my mom asked me to pick up some water Swiffer pads, I want to get some Milani New, some toiletries for our flight this week, some period health products, maybe, I might wait to get that, spray deodorant, travel toothbrushes, regular toothbrushes, maybe some cortisone cream for Noelle's bug bite, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's go see if they're open because it looks like a ghost town over here. I'm so glad they were open and let me tell you something if you don't do nothing go shop at CVS okay CVS always 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 has the brands that I love and they're always having sales or at least coupons like when I was in there I noticed that I forgot to check my CVS app to see what deals and rewards I had available but I just stood right there in the aisle and sent all the coupons and all the rewards that I had to my card and I got money off at checkout and it's so easy literally just the click of a few buttons and they're not paying me to say this I'm just trying to put you on you always get 2% back in rewards when you scan your extra care reward card rewards card so when I went in the store I had a dollar and 83 cents of cash back on my card to use and now I have four dollars and 27 cents just from shopping and buying stuff that I, I would buy anywhere and I just love CVS because there's a CVS on almost every corner where I live and I have noticed though that different CVS sells different products and I've had to like hop around to different locations to figure out which CVS consistently carries the products that I'm looking for and I really like this one but let's do a quick little haul of what I got they had buy one get one on these small spaces Febreze little scent pot things I'm gonna use them for my car whenever I clean it out. I got four of these Alani New in different flavors. Oh. oh, I saw disinfecting wipes to take on the plane, some travel toothbrushes for Kia and I, Benadryl, this itch cream, itch stopping cream for like insect bites, poison ivy, sunburn, cut scrapes, of course, for Noah's uh, bite on her forehead. I got this secret aluminum free dry deodorant spray and i've never tried this brand i love dry spray deodorants as of lately i've used dove and native but never this brand but this one was on sale for 20 percent off so why not give it a try oh uh, they had this califia farms almond milk barista blend and they also had the oat milk and they also had international delight creamers and stoke cold brew bottled coffee i'm telling you don't sleep on CVS because CVS has it all. A Tide Stick pack of scrunchies. I spent a good, I'd say 30 minutes in there just walking and browsing around to see what they have. And they always have some good stuff. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Good morning. Time to wake up. Little girl. Mm. Hey. Wake up. Melody. <laughs> She's probably like, man, go somewhere. It's too early. Good morning. It's actually late. I wanted to be leaving the house by now. Melody. Hey. Hey, beautiful. 
I try to switch it up and make, I feel like my face looks so puffy and round. Anyway, <laughs> good morning. I try to switch it up and make my latte with almond milk the past two mornings instead of my usual whole milk. Just because CVS had the Califia Farms almond milk barista blend and I would never tried that one before, only the oat. So I wanted to give it a try and it's it's not giving. I'm not really a fan. I feel like it waters down the coffee. I like a really thick coffee, a really thick morning beverage, and it's just not giving that. Mommy? Yes. You like spicy drinks? Do I like spicy drinks? Yeah. I last spoke to y'all on Sunday. It's Tuesday morning. I had intentions on packing yesterday, or at least starting to pack and vlogging and stuff, but obviously that didn't happen, so... I just wanted to come check in with y'all and let y'all know <laughs> the day that I was having yesterday. Yesterday was quite eventful. I guess I was having bad car luck. Yesterday morning was going great. I was on the way to work and I was about 10 minutes from work on the highway when I heard a rock hit my car. And I've heard rocks hit my car plenty of times. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And I hear a rock hit my car the second time. And it was kind of loud, so I look at my windshield and I'm kind of like inspecting my windshield as I drive. And I notice a tiny chip. So I'm like, great, now my windshield's chip. So I get like five more minutes up the street, right? And Mom. I look at my windshield Mom. again and it's developing Mom. into a crack. A crack that's going this way. But it's real Mom. small though. Mommy. Yes, baby. She doesn't even have anything to say. She just wants to interrupt me. Yes. My car cracked. I don't know, babe. A rock hit it and it cracked. I go to my car on lunch break and notice that the crack, the small, tiny crack that I had is now a big, very visible crack. And not one crack, but two cracks. So I got a crack going that way and a crack going that way. That grew within a couple of hours. And I've heard that it can get worse. So I'm hella nervous to go to the garage this morning and see what it looks like. I really hope that it hasn't grown anymore because it's not covering like my whole windshield. It's just at the bottom. So like, yeah, it's just at the bottom. It goes that way and then that way. I would hate for it to start, you know, going all across the windshield. So I called my insurance, scheduled a windshield repair appointment and yeah go back to work leave work and come outside get in the car to start my car and it won't start so i immediately call key and i'm like my car won't start he asked me when i press the push to start button do i hear a clicking noise because i was like how do i know if my battery's dead he said that i should hear clicking so lo and behold i try to start my car again and it's just clicking so my battery is dead and I gotta go get my child. Daycare closes pretty soon. So huh? Key is on the way to get Noel. I'm just sitting in the car getting cold. I was stuck at work Mommy. in a dead car for Mommy. another 30 to 45 Mommy. minutes. Yes, baby. Who's gonna get me? Me. Yeah. He'll pick me up from school. He did? Yeah. Were you happy to see him? Yeah. I was going to help you with Come here. Math. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> when they got to my job, Noah hops out of the car and she's like, Mommy, do you need help? Do you need help? I was like, yes, I do. She's like, okay, can I help you please? So sweet. He came and jumped my car and I made it home. Mind you, my commute home is already 30 like to 45 nails. minutes depending on the traffic that day. So I didn't get home till like an hour and 15 later than I usually would, but it's all good. Everything worked out. At least, at least I have my car to drive still. I charged my car up on a battery charger when I got home last night. So hopefully it starts this morning. You know, I should have went and checked my car out before I got ready and everything. I should really go do that now. Mommy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Why do you need help? But you know, I'm going to just mommy, cross mommy, my fingers. Mommy, mommy, hope that mommy, it starts. Mommy, God mommy. got me. Mommy. Yeah. 
Why Come on. Help? So yeah, that's the day I had yesterday. Mommy, because my car was having issues. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to interrupt me, I swear. She's just repeating herself and then laughing. When I got home last night, we ate dinner, got bathed and showered, and just went straight to bed. I was like, mm -mm, no packing today. I did put up some laundry though, but today, today is the day where we have to be packed, okay? We got a flight to catch in the morning. From where? <laughs> the car issue this morning was 100% my battery being dead and I ended up driving my sister's car to work because I went out to start my car right after I told y'all that I should probably go check on that. And it wouldn't start. The battery was still dead even though I charged it last night. Apparently what ended up happening is the battery charger that we have didn't have enough power to like charge my battery, I guess. My battery had to be fully replaced and my mom ended up helping me take care of that. She's actually driving my car right now she should be back any minute and i'm just like if it ain't one thing it's another the windshield cracked the battery had to be replaced my cycle came on this morning and i'm wearing an all white fit to disney <laughs> what else what else is gonna happen i got off work a little early today like around three o'clock it's 5 30 now and I just got out all of our outfits that I'm going to pack. So now I just have to like stuff everything in packing cubes, pack up my toiletries and stuff, and then transition my workbook bag to my carry-on book bag. For this trip, I'm not really trying to put the fits together. I actually want to pack as minimal as possible. Thank you, baby. I'm usually an overpacker, but I think I'm outgrowing that era. Like, I really don't want to be lugging around unnecessary baggage and unnecessarily big luggage if i don't have to we're only going to be there three nights four days so i don't need that much clothes where are you going to the mall girl i bought her those grinch pjs today to wear to our friend's christmas party but she insists that she puts them on today but that's fine i feel like we never really get much wear out of seasonal pajamas anyway so i'm like you might as well wear them from the moment i buy them uh, i still have to do her hair like do a whole style put beads in it and everything to go. Where are we going, Nono? I'm the baby. Where are we going, baby? Disney. Disney. I actually thought I was going to struggle to get everything in this bag, but it fit pretty smoothly, which I'm happy about. So I just have my bag that I'm going to check, even though it's carry-on size. My, I guess this would be considered my carry-on or my personal item. I don't know. And then I'm gonna carry my belt bag. Noelle has her her bag. Babe, you don't have it on, right? That's why it's hanging so 